comes with so much stuff. I made myself a little salad for breakfast because I've been eating really badly for the past few months and my body fat percentage has went up so much which is so stressful for me because that is not healthy and yeah last month was kind of rough for me I don't usually get sick that often but I was sick twice in January so I felt like I didn't do anything at all which also explains why i didn't upload much in january but i'm back and i am ready to post more often hopefully i don't get sick again because i really i felt so like mentally and physically bad when i was sick i'm still not fully recovered yet and <coughs> i kept having this dry cough and it's really annoying hmm. These are all the clothes that I'm selling on my carousel. I just listed them yesterday and I got some orders. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack them up so that I can ship them off tomorrow. Today is a public holiday for those who work in KL, so Tyler has no work today. Today, today, today. <laughs> we are planning to go to the mall and have a little lunch date, so I'm just getting ready for that. And of course, I can't forget my sunscreen. I cannot stress how important sunscreen is. Start using your sunscreen even if you're still in your early 20s because the future you would definitely thank you for that. I have been using this sunscreen from Isn't Tree because everybody was raving about it on TikTok. It's their Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel and it is now my ultimate favorite sunscreen and I'm so 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 excited to be working with them for today's video. I started using it way before they reached out to me so this is really exciting. I'm a big fan with having Hyaluronic Acid in my skincare because I have dry skin and I find that it works really well to keep my skin moisturized. This is a mild chemical sunscreen with 8 types of Hyaluronic Acids in it and this absorbs really well into my skin without leaving any sticky feeling or any white cast. It's also really moisturizing. It feels like I'm just putting on a moisturizer on my skin. Not to mention, this is also ranked number one under the K-Beauty sunscreen category on Amazon. I can totally see why everybody was raving about this on TikTok. This is their double edition, so you'll be able to get two of this in a box. It's a really great deal. Highly, highly recommend you guys to go check them out. This is my skin after putting on the sunscreen. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. like literally feels like I'm just putting on a layer of moisturizer and my skin is now ready for my makeup. Alright, makeup done! I think my makeup came out pretty good today. I also want to share with you guys this really cool product from Essentry. 
they came out with the same sunscreen in a stick form and this is their hyaluronic acid airy sun stick this is actually my first time trying out sun stick and surprisingly i really like it it's compact and portable perfect to keep in my bag and reapply throughout the day this also contains eight types of hyaluronic acids in it it feels really light and refreshing on the skin which is why i like it the teardrop shape really helps to get onto every part of my skin i'm gonna be taking this out with me today Another product that I have been very impressed by Isentry is their Mark Ward Calming Clay Mask. I love using clay mask as an external exfoliator just because it's more gentle on the skin. I don't exfoliate my skin that often but I use this every two weeks. This contains Mark Ward extract in it and it will help to soothe irradiated skin. And it also contains Mark Ward leaves and red bean powder for mild exfoliation. It doesn't feel abrasive on the skin at all. This is great if you are looking for a product to control your sebum production like if you get oily around your t-zone maybe you should try out this product because i find that it really helps to control my sebum production and also remove all the dirt and gunk in my pores and this doesn't dry out on our skin unlike any other clay mask that i've tried before this leaves my skin feeling really moisturized which is another reason why i really like this product essentially is now available on shopee and if you use my code isntchtne you'll be able to get an additional 15 percent off your order highly highly recommend you guys to go check out this sunscreen I will definitely repurchase this once I'm done with this. I will leave all the links and information down in the description box for you guys to check out. This is the outfit. I decided to keep the top because I genuinely don't know what to wear. I also have little ribbon on my back just to add a little something to the outfit. I feel like the Apple Watch never looks good with any girly outfit but I have to keep it on because I want to track my activity throughout the day. So yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna go get Haiti, no? quotes that you can say in Heidi Lao where you'll be able to get free gifts and I'm gonna make Tyler say it and see if we can get anything for free. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home now and I just took a shower, put on my pajamas. I got quite a few stuffs from the mall today and to be honest, these are all kind of an impulsive purchase. I didn't need this. So you guys can see I have a bag from Toys R Us. I bought myself a little toy. Okay, I didn't actually get that much. I only got four things and three of them are stationaries. The last time I went out and bought stationaries was when I was still in uni and I have been using my physical planner a lot so I wanted to get some new pens for it. Also got a little post-it note so that I can write important notes for myself and stick them on my iMac. And I also went to Muji and got myself a pencil case because the pencil case that I'm currently using is a pouch that my friend got me a few years ago and I don't know, I want to switch it up a little bit. got this so that I can put on stickers and decorate it myself. So I'm going to do that later. And the most exciting purchase of the day is this little... I don't know what it's called, but it's like this little figurine that you make with um, 
cardboard paper. It's kind of like a DIY kit or a puzzle kit and it's from the brand Roll Life. Look how cute it is. I got the one with the little teddy. This was $69.90 from Toys R Us and I looked it up on Shopee. It was a lot cheaper on there and Taobao has them as well. They are almost half the price on those websites but I just couldn't wait and I really want to make it today with you guys to kind of end my little off day. So yeah, I bought it. Ooh. Oh, it comes with so much stuff. So this is everything that comes with the box. And we have a little instruction here. I definitely won't be able to finish this up within tonight. Oh my gosh, but this is so fun. This looks way more complicated than what I thought it would be, but I'm gonna start by cutting the first page off and cut all of these things out. I'm so excited to be starting a new hobby again. I haven't been spending that much time on my hobbies these days. I haven't been crocheting, I haven't been spending time on like my electric guitar or sewing and stuff like that. I don't know, I've just been wasting so much time on TikTok and scrolling through Instagram and just mindlessly scrolling on my phone instead of doing things that would make me happy and... I don't even know what was I saying. Like, but yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be starting this project. I'm just gonna take it slow, even though part of me really wants to finish it up and show you guys um, the end result within this video but I know it's impossible because there are just so many things to do with this small little project. My screen time recently have been so 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 high so I'm trying to cut that down and do a little art instead. Also I'm using like a haircut scissors because I don't have any paper scissors and this is a little tricky to use. Ooh. So this is my progress so far. I've made all of the little ornaments and I'm gonna put them to my base. I think the couch part is gonna be the hardest. I'm gonna stop here and leave the rest for tomorrow. I started watching Death Note recently and it's so good. I remember the real life movie adoption back when I was like in primary school because my sister watched it. The only thing I remember of the show is L with his thumb doing this and also the Shinagami that loves Apple, that's all I remember. And one day I was just scrolling through Netflix trying to find a movie to watch. I saw Death Notes and I decided to give it a go. I'm currently at episode 20 and I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night watching Death Note and unwind for the day. But before I do that, I'm gonna assemble all of my ornaments to the base as well as this little lamp. I'm still waiting for it to dry and it's gonna look something like this. I've been sitting here for the past two hours plus and this is my progress. Ah, it's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash up now and I'll see you guys in my next video. <coughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.